This is the TBS Tango 2 version 1. If I would have ordered the version 2 PDB, the version 3 PDB would have been out before the V2 even got here. Is that right? What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 channel. I am Chad and today we are going to talk about all of the crazy stuff happening in the TBS world and what is going on with uh, this ghost thing that Immersion RC has got brewing. How that might be influencing some of the decisions that are being made by Team Black Sheep. So in the past week or two, there have been lots and lots of live streams by Team Black Sheep going over different various things, updates to Crossfire, updates to the products, everything like that. Today was the big one though. Today was Crossfire 4.0 and it threw a lot of features and stuff out at the newer adopters, I would say. The people who got the new Micro TX version two, now they can go up to a full watt of power on that. Um, they've hinted at some rumors for possible output power for the Tango 2 eventually since the version 3 upgrade which I have uh, here on the desktop is actually gonna, has supposedly the micro V uh, TX V2 internals on that but they were not ready to commit towards how much output power um, they said it would probably be less than a watt Probably because of heat and space and everything like that, but you know, I'm fine with 750, 800, whatever. We'll see what happens with that. Luckily, I ordered this and the little module bay adapter a couple days ago on pre order. Who knows when I'll get it? Really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm fine with my crossfire now on the Tango 2, but since I have DJI on the way here soon, I probably might need a little bit of power because it looks like that DJI system will go pretty dang far. So what does all this have to do with Immersion RC and the Ghost? Well, you know, you got this guy out there, Joshua Bardwell, who seems to be the only person that has this little cupcake in his hand right now, and he is blasting it all over the airwaves. A lot of people are interested in it. People that have been around for a while maybe don't care so much. People who are newer to the hobby or coming into the hobby are naturally going to gravitate toward pretty much anything that he says. So Team Black Sheep has pretty much got to prepare themselves and make all of their products rock solid and outperform and outprice the newcomer to the block. Even though Crossfire is established, it's been out for years, but maybe that's a problem. Maybe it's time for something new and faster and more powerful. We don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. And influencers are important. You're not gonna see Mr. Steel out there talking about a power increase on a micro TX V2 because he doesn't use that, nor does he use a Tango 2. So TBS relies on the community. And right now, when it comes to where the community and the views are, they are not on TBS products. But Trappy does have that little tell that you can just kind of see on his face whenever they start talking about a competitor's products and everything like that. Like he says, let's wait until it actually ships before we start talking about it. Might be a good idea. So we're going to take a look at TBS Agent X here. And here is Crossfire 4. And here are the release notes. Now keep in mind, I'm not going to update my Crossfire at all um, until I get that extra that v3 pdb and everything like that just because besides some a little bit of bug fixes there's really not a whole lot in here that i can see myself benefiting from there's also a new version of freedom tx that i can upgrade to actually there was two versions i didn't even know about that um but here you go right here um really just bringing in all of the open tx 2.3.7 changes merging that in with freedom tx for the crossfire shot and everything like that support for the external modules for the v2 pcb 
or V3. So we might as well just get rid of V2 and start talking about V3. So all this stuff's really nice, important, but we'll be doing none of it until we actually get that stuff in our hand. Then we'll make a video and we'll install all of it and do all that kind of stuff. If you are interested in upgrading your Tango 2 right now though, I do have a playlist I'll put up here. There's a video in there where it shows you how to do that. The process is still the same through the TBS agent. You also have to go on to TBS's website and download the newest version of the SD card contents. Don't forget to open up the little readme file in there and follow the instructions as far as what models that what files you're going to want to back up like your models and uh, uh, crossfire settings and that way you can dump them back on when you're done. And in case you were wondering, here is a link to the Ghost system. Um, you know, they got a bundle starting out, $150 for a receiver that will plug into the back of your Tyrannus and um, a transmitter, sorry, and uh, three, three receivers. You know, I wish them luck. Competition, I think, is good for all of us. If we had not seen this and we don't get the Bardwell videos that are doing four to five times more views than his typical videos, then we probably wouldn't see the traction and the movement from TBS on Crossfire. I feel kind of slanted because I want to see some of that in my Tango 2. And I think that it's kind of being left in the dust right now. I hope in the end there will be something extra special for us besides saying that we were first adopters and we got to use it for three months before everybody else did. Yeah, I did really like that. Anyway, we'll see what happens, guys. I'll let you know, keep you updated. Th thanks for stopping by. Have a good week.